Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Rock Paper Mario, and in this part, we are going to, well, we heard of Cyan or someone, because they wouldn't tell us who was talking, um, that the Espers were headed for Vector, so I guess we'd better follow them. I was going to record this yesterday, and why I ended up putting Mario up two days in a row was just because on Monday night, well, first of all, Goodwill Hunting was on, so I ended up watching that at, like, until 2 o'clock in the morning because it was on the middle of the night and like I don't have that movie on DVD and the reason I don't is because I love just I love when it's on I love it being special that it's on if you know what I mean if that makes any sense so I love just kind of making time to watch it when it actually comes on the television so but then after that like I was Sean and Andrew were doing a stream so I ended up watching that and staying up until 5 o'clock in the morning and I was really tired yesterday, and I'm just like, oh, no, we had to run into a battle, didn't we? A little, I'll show you my parity. Oh, I never showed you my equip, so not that it matters that much. But we are going to be doing battling here. Um, but the battling isn't why I brought my, um, isn't why I brought this team. I have, like, a really stupid reason to, oh, you had to berserk Cyan, didn't you? Just when we were fighting the train. Yeah, Cyan is really, um, he's only level 19 because I just don't use him that often. But something that I haven't mentioned that I really like about this game and I think that would have be made Chrono Trigger, why, and I think is one of the things that's missing from Chrono Trigger, is that if you look at our levels, um, Cyan is 19, but I didn't get him up to 19. He was maybe level 15 or 16 the last time I used him. But what the game does is at certain points, it will actually re-average out characters' levels. So that's why, um, like, that's why even though Cyan might, even if Cyan were like level 10, let's say, not, I don't think that's possible, but when we last used him, he'd still be level 19 now because it would re-average out the levels. And Mog is, all, is go always going to be a certain level higher than your party when you pick him up, no matter what level you are because of the maths that the game does. I think that is brilliant. I wish Chrono Trigger had done that, because then, like, characters wouldn't end up getting left behind in the dust, kind of like they do. Um, um, what else? Oh yeah, but the thing about that, though, is that your characters miss out on the bonuses from the espers, so that's why you don't want to get too over-leveled, is because when the game averages out the bonuses... Jeez, Vector doesn't look... Oh my god! What on earth? Wait a second, I thought you were supposed to be doing this. Excuse me, Mr. Returner. Oh, well, you just disappeared into the wall. Well, maybe this Narshian. Narshgard. What's going on? I don't know. Is it Weren't you guys supposed to go with Bannon and burn down Vect or whatever? Oh, the, the sleeping couple is gone. Well, geez, I wonder what's going on. So I ended up watching that stream until 5 o'clock in the morning, and I was just... I was so tired yesterday. I ended up just, um... I ended up just using, yeah I know, I ended up just spending the game, spending the day playing Super Castlevania 4 and Donkey Kong Country Returns to keep myself awake, so, what, I know, jeez, can you say anything else? Well, where's Bannon? Let's try and find him, see if he can shed some light on this situation. Bannon, what are you talking about? Talking with F-bars? Isn't that what you sent us to do, you fat oaf? That's why we went to the cave to the sealed gate. What about Arvis? It see we was like this when we got here. And that's a good line. Are you sure that's not just your line like saying like, oh, the dog ate my homework? Let's see what whether whether Gestahl is still okay. Who's this guy? This clown. The Emperor is expecting you this way. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, just walk all over me. What am I supposed to do? Just leave him walk all over me, bollocks? <laughs> Emperor Gestahl waits inside. Let's go talk to him. Ask him what the hell he's doing. I've lost my will to fight. What have you now? Oh, this part. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm not really prepared for this, but... The Emperor's had a change of heart. Okay, peppy hair. Sid! Okay, why? This is why I took the these characters. The Espers came to save their friends when they heard the others perish. They went berserk and trashed the town. Never will I forget their shrieks of rage. 
Oh, Joe, you know it's so weird. I'm doing a voice for Sid that sounds like the way he sounds in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> That's so funny. I never noticed that. <laughs> We're hanging up our weapons and armor for good. Oh, so they're going to turn to the ways of peace. The power of those espers, I had no idea. They'll shred the world. We must get them to understand that we are no longer at war. Okay, Emperor Gestalt. I honestly, I can't remember what voice Emperor... He appears so little in the game that... No human's gonna make him shit down, listen. <laughs> no human? Well, Terra is not a human. But for now, my friends, let us feast and rejoice. Yeah, let's deliciate. We should just, like, disappear. There are some people here who prefer to keep fighting. Please, before we die, and talk to as many soldiers as you can. Make them understand. Okay, now we have, like, a certain amount of time. Please talk to as many soldiers as you can. You have four minutes until dinner. Do these count? Okay, I don't think they... I better just check. Okay, I think they're, like... Yeah, they don't count. I think there are like 25 soldiers that you can talk to. Um, last time I missed one. Yeah, he's on his last legs. One person, see it count. The war is over. Um, last time I missed one, I think. Now some of them will actually battle you. I'm not sorry, I'm not I'm rushing through the text, but oh they've lost their will to fight. Well that's good. That's handy for me. Jeez, will you stop walking to the wall? I'm really not well no, I'm not bad at this, but there's something in here that'll waste time, but I want to show it. Seriously? Okay, that's a toilet. Oh, so Kevka's in the bathroom. Sitting on the toilet? Girl, how dare they put me in a place like this? I don't believe it! Yeah, he wastes about like 20 to 30 seconds of your time. Um, but I just think this is a really cool scene. What a bore! Because obviously Kefka isn't that worried about um, being in prison for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, m don't miss out any of these. The, the amount of people you talk to, will you'll get a prize at the end of this based on... Um, based on how many people you talk to and another th and a certain and some other things um, I'm not really that worried about the price I just want to get a certain amount yeah yeah exactly Kefka's not a nice guy you're, you're only noticing that now um, but I'm not that worried I want to get a certain amount but other than that I don't really care okay, up here. And I am going to, I'm hoping to get all of this done in one episode, just for the sake of convenience. So, my whole family was lost in the war. Eight people. Okay, as far as I know, there are some people up here. Yeah. The war ended just before we could use this machine. What, the crane? Kefka's in jail. Yeah, I know, we just saw him. He was sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Stop bringing You deserve a thrashing. Okay, here's one of the guys that'll fight us. A commando, so just, um, Aurobolt or Signed Dispatch. Sorry I had to pause there, it's just that, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, it's just my brother came up and he was getting clothes or something like that. Um, so yeah, d d some of them will actually fight you, that uses up more time, so... But after you beat them, it counts as another person you've spoken to, so that's okay. Yeah, I don't think- okay, I talked to you already. I don't think I'm gonna get this, but I don't really care either. You're not wanted. Well, geez, I thought he was gonna fight him. Yeah, he's scum. That's scum, Kefka. Okay, don't forget this guy. The Empire will never- wait a second, I thought the guys that spoke to you like that would fight you, but apparently... Okay, door here. Yeah, I missed one of them. There are loads in here, and I always get, um... It, it always reminds me of the stupid, um... That Coco game with Talon in, um... With Talon, and I just can't find them, so... Horrible. Okay, a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. The, the thing is that you get... It's like there's a point system... For, um... Based on how many you talk to. And, um... Okay, I think that's... Okay, 18. I think there are 25, if I'm correct. Get out of my way, please. Everything will be settled after the banquet. Okay, there's... Get out of my fucking way. See, I hate this. This is the hardest room. Okay, where am I going? There's one. I knew there was one of them there, sneaking around. And there's one sitting on the toilet when we're fighting in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get this, seriously. Okay, I don't want Terra. I want Dispatch. That's probably the easiest way to... Please kill him. Yes, good. 
because they're the guys from the Magitech research facility that have the really high defense. Um, but yeah, we'll get points based on both this place and the next part of the the base or whatever. Okay, eight seconds. One of these guys fights you, I know. Okay, come on. A tree. Okay, he'll fight you, but we're out of time. Well, maybe it'll count. Yeah, see, we're out of time. Not bad, pretty strong, 23 people. Okay, well, I missed one, but I don't know whether... Like, it, if one of the per people that you miss is one that you battle, then you've lost your chance to get, like... You can't even miss one of the ones that you battle, because, um... Um, because you just won't get enough points. This is why I like to bring these characters, because I like to have, like... Because we're going to negotiate with, um with Gestahl now, and I like to have Edgar and Sabin to represent the Returners and Figaro, and I like to have Cyan to represent Doma, just because he has a beef with the Emperor, and I like to have Terra just because she's going to center of the whole thing, so... Imagine all of us here together, sharing a meal. First, we must have a toast. Okay, you have to, like, toast to... You have to, like, answer the questions that are kind of middle of the road, so that are neither too good to you, nor too good to the Empire. So what you want to say is to our hometowns. Well then, to our hometown. So first we had toilets, and now we have tables. Because we have a negotiation table, and a dinner table, and a dining room table, and just a dining room table. As you know, Kefka's in jail for what? No, he's not. He's in the toilet. What shall we do with him? Flush the toilet. Okay, here you, as far as I know, leave him in jail is what you want to say. Um, leave him in the toilet. Hmm, well, let's let him stew in his cell for a while. Then we'll decide what to do. So yeah, you'll get points, more points for answering the questions this way. I truly apologize about the poisoning of Doma. No one dreamed Kefka would use poison. You know, that's why I have Cyan here, so... What's done is done, that was inexcusable. Okay, what's done is done is kind of too nice to him, and apologize again is too mean to him. So you go, that was inexcusable, because it's just like we're kind of giving him a bit of slack here. I'm so terribly sorry, Kefka's being severely punished. He's <laughs> not, he's in the toilet. <laughs> By the way, with regard to General Celis. Oh, she's here? Okay, what you want to say is Celis is one of us, as far as I remember, because we trust Celis is too powerful, so. Um, Celis is one of us. Oh, I need water, I'm out of breath. Why did I run up the stairs like a dummy? I'm out of breath because it's so stuffy here, because I have all the windows closed and I can't open them. And um, because of the wasps, because the wasps will come in. That's why she joined the Returners. Any other questions for me? Okay, we have to ask him three questions. And we get to ask each of them, So, but you have to remember which one you ask first, because he'll ask you. So I just usually start with why did you start the war? My desire for power got the best for me. Now I've come to my senses. Come to your senses? <laughs> with your permission, I'd like to talk about the espers. No, first, one more question. Um, why do you want peace now? Yeah, exactly. I feel we need each other's help at this time. I don't know, guys, should we trust him? Yeah, one more question. I have one more. One more thing. It's like being Columbo. Why do we have to talk to your men? Yeah, exactly. Some of my men refused to embrace peace. I felt they'd understand if they actually met you face to face. Yeah, I actually missed one of them, I think. Only one. Let's talk about the espers. My empire has been decimated by the espers that emerged from the sealed gate. They're acting spiteful. Unless they're stopped, they'll rip the world asunder. <laughs> that sounds like in the mask when Jim Carrey goes, No, it was the masked man. <laughs> was that in the mask? No, the one-armed man. Is that in the mask when he said that about the one-armed man? Yeah, you want to say yes. They've gone too far. After the espers went into rampage, I knew I couldn't go on with my war. I asked myself why I had started it in the first place. By the way, about those questions you asked me, which did you ask first? We asked, why did you start the war, Willis? Why'd you start the war, Willis? Right. Anyway, more than anything, I want peace. That's my true dream. I want to understand that. You seem a bit tired. Care for a rest break? Yeah, okay. You don't go to the toilet. Yeah, you want to take up Sid's offer because we actually have a little... Um, trial to do here, not that it's that hard. We want to test your strength. Won't you fight with us for a couple of minutes? Yeah, we need to beat these guys. SP forces, so I just go for the... Um... 
Um, I don't think they're weak. I think they might be vulnerable to instant death, so... Um, yeah, pull two. We have to beat them within... Like, you'll, you won't not beat them. It's simple, seriously. Oh, jeez. Overkill much. Yeah, I know Sion's not my favorite character, but I like to bring him here just for, like... Because I think he has a right to be here. I mean, it was Doma that got, um... That got, a. Uh, Decimated by Kefka's poison, after all. Oh, it would be poop right if we can achieve peace. Okay, let's go back to our chair. Shall we begin again? Yes, Finn again. <laughs> Michael Finnegan, begin again. The hair wind came down and blew it in again. He had hairs upon his chin again. Is there anything you wish to hear me say? That all you need is love. That your war's. We know. Yeah, that your war's truly over. That's what we want. I understand. I wanted this war to be over. Now we must ask for a favor. Oh well, here we go. How could there not be an ulterior motive from that dastardly cocker spaniel? After they dissipated my enemy, the Akers headed northward towards Crescent Island. That's the island where the in- Oh wait, no, that's not where the Intangiers are, sure it's not? No, that's the Triangular Island. They must be found. We must tell them that we're no longer the enemy. After all that I have to put them through, it is up to me to set- Oh my god, talk about a turnaround. I need to borrow Terra's power. Jeez, everyone's borrowing Terra's power. She's just like a whore. Only Terra can bridge the gap between Esper and Human. We must make for the Crescent Island to put the freighter from Albrook. The Millennium Falcon. Just say yes. Just say yes. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Yeah, just say yes the first time. It's kind of like in um, the seaside town of Mario RPG. Or General Mohawk. Hey there. I'm General Leo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I can't remember his voice either. Didn't I see you at Doma? I'm sure I did. So that was General Leo. Yeah, this guy with the Mohawk. You, your scion, leads to the King of Doma. Please forgive me for not being there to stop Kefka. Yeah, you got sent on a wild goose chase. That wasn't your fault. Okay. Jeez, Cassian's a pretty forgiving guy. Are you gonna hug? I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. I wish, like, Leo would go over and give him, like, a big brotherly hug. That'd be cool. <laughs> like, at the end of, um... No, I was just gonna say at the end of Goodwill Hunting. That would've been nice. We must find the experts and come to turn with them. You were the one our man. If Terra goes, I'll go. Lock. Thank you. Oh, more Terra. The rest of you wait here. I smell a rat. And the thrust takes one to no one. You are a thief. Agreed. It's hard to trust the Emperor just like that. Jeez, Edgar's got his head screwed on. We'll stay here and investigate. Yeah, like the... Do you have, like, Gao can be Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Please do. Leave no stone unturned. Now you can split up and search for clues. Sorry, unfortunately, there's no woman to go with Edgar. Right, you be careful. This music, I wish the music had changed, seriously. Okay, now we're Terra and Locke again, and that's who, that's all we can be for this, um, part, okay? The war is over. War is over if you want it. Okay, where do we go to get our present? Okay, let's just get a sprint shoes on somebody here. Somebody, stop me! Where do we go to get our present? That kind of points thing, you get points depending on how, how you answer the questions. Um, it's kind of like the sword fight at the start of Final Fantasy IX. Depending on how well you do, you get something here. Oh. A message from the Emperor. Because you were able to talk to so many soldiers, you were to be rewarded as follows. Imperial troops have withdrawn- Good. Doma. Good. Yes, good. Okay, and this is from the Emperor himself. Tintin. Okay, that's the second best one. Well, okay, I got the second best one. I don't really care about the item that he gives you. If you get the second best one, he gives you that Tintin a bar thing. That's a relic that lets you recover health, but I think it's a waste of a spot, to be honest. The best one you can get, which I don't really mind getting, it's, um, the... Oh, it's like this one. Doesn't it, like, reduce enemy encounters or something like that? Okay. Yeah, we need to go to Albrook. Um, yeah, because the airship is still kind of, um, well, it's not at its best after that crash landing, after we crash the airship and take him down with us. Um, 
Yeah, it reduces enemy encounters, but that's not why it's good. The reason it's good is because you can use it to get another item later, but actually much earlier than you'd normally get it. But that item's so overpowered, I almost prefer not getting it that early. Can we really trust the Empire? I have an awful feeling about this. Si Sabin. Um, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Can't just forget about the- Oh, shut up, you. Could Gestahl have meant such a thing? Team up with the Empire to track down. Shut up, Bannon. Yeah, Sabin and Edgar are the only ones with their heads screwed on, seriously. The rest of you are just dummies believing the Emperor. I wouldn't trust that Emperor as far as I could throw him. So I guess in... Well, this has been a long episode. Well, no, I have stuff to cut out because I have to go downstairs and do something in the middle of a video, so... Um, I guess in the next video we'll head to Albrook. And after we head to Albrook, we'll head to Crescent Island and try and find the Espers. See you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI.